This is Fashion Fridays. Every Friday, we present you with a fashion icon or topic. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Tyra Banks. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some interesting and lesser known facts about supermodel, TV personality, producer, author and businesswoman Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks was born December 4, 1973 in Inglewood, California. By the age of 15, she was seriously pursuing a modeling career and just two years later, she was starting to get some attention in the modeling world. She moved to Milan, Italy in 1990 to take advantage of new opportunities and then moved back to the US a few years later after working with a number of high-profile labels including Donna Karen, Christian Dior, Oscar de la Renta, Fendi, and Calvin Klein. She revolutionized the modeling industry, becoming the first black woman on the cover of GQ and the Victoria's Secret catalog. She was a Victoria's Secret angel for several years before creating, producing, and hosting the television show America's Next Top Model in 2003, which has since run for 24 seasons, only one of which was not hosted by her. She also produced and hosted The Tyra Banks Show from 2005 to 2010. Additionally, she has appeared in movies, published three books, and created her own cosmetics brand. Tyra is one of a select few models who have been able to capitalize on their success and transition from modeling full-time to becoming moguls and businesswomen who have decades-long lucrative careers. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We want to learn some more about Tyra because we are inspired by her success, passion, ambition, and business sense. So let's take a closer look at this influential supermodel with the 15 things you didn't know about Tyra Banks. Number 1. She was rejected by four modeling agencies before signing with LA Models. Tyra was determined from a young age that she would become a supermodel, and she started fully concentrating on that goal at the age of 15. She attempted to get signed by four different modeling agencies, but was rejected each time. She finally found success when she was signed by LA Models. A year later, she switched to elite model management and moved to Milan, Italy at the age of 17 to pursue a full-time modeling career. Number 2. She was the first black model to appear on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Sports Illustrated was first published in 1954, and the magazine released its first swimsuit edition 10 years later. But it wasn't until 1997 they featured a black model on their cover, which was of course Tyra Banks. In 2018, Danielle Harrington became the third black woman to ever appear on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition, and it was Tyra who gave Danielle the news that she was selected for the cover. Danielle had been a lifelong fan of Tyra Banks, who had been her inspiration and her mentor. The only other black woman to grace the cover of the Swimsuit Edition was Beyonce back in 2007. Number 3. Her first TV appearance was on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Tyra's acting career began in the fourth season of the 90s sitcom Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She played Jackie Ames, an old friend of the Fresh Prince who was played by Will Smith. She appeared in eight episodes in all, but since then she's appeared on dozens of TV shows and in a few movies including Coyote Ugly, Gossip Girl, Glee, Blackish, and she also acted as a producer on a number of shows, including America's Next Top Model, The Tyra Banks Show, and Australia's Next Top Model. Number 4. She booked 25 shows at her first Paris Fashion Week In her very first runway season when she was 17 years old, she booked 25 shows at the 1991 Paris Fashion Week. This gave her wider recognition in the industry and led to a number of opportunities with well-known labels. She ended up walking in fashion shows for Valentino, Marc Jacobs, Calvin Klein, Dolce & Gabbana, Giorgio Armani, Christian Dior, and many more. In the mid-1990s, she decided to move back to the United States to pursue more commercial modeling opportunities, and her success only increased over time. Number 5. Her net worth is $90 million Tyra worked as a Victoria's Secret angel for eight years, and she earned about $5 million per year through that contract. 
She makes at least $25 million per year for America's Next Top Model, and at least $1.6 million per season as the host of America's Got Talent. Her other revenue streams include various film and television appearances, book sales, her cosmetics brand, and her guest lecturer position at Stanford University. Her total net worth is $90 million. Number 6. Her hair caused her to lose her first job with Victoria's Secret Tyra said she was actually sent home from her first Victoria's Secret job because the hairdresser didn't know what to do with her natural hair. She came back to the company a year later and begged them to audition again, but this time she made sure to hire her own hairstylist, and she did her own makeup as well. She was hired again and quickly became one of the most popular models and the first black model to sign with the company. Number 7. Several models have accused her show of mistreatment there are a number of models who have participated in Tyra's show, America's Next Top Model, that have spoken out about alleged mistreatment on the show. One model, Angela Preston, sued her for $3 million back in 2014 for breach of contract, when she was disqualified after being named the winner due to her doing some escort work in the past. She said the contestants were treated like pretty slaves, and that other contestants claimed they worked 20 hours a day and food and water were withheld to make them more moody and confrontational. They were also not permitted to speak at all when cameras were turned off, which led to hours of forced silence at times. These are just a few of the critical comments made by contestants on the show. Number 8. She claims she attended Harvard Business School, but she didn't. Tyra has been quoted as saying she put her nose to the grindstone at Harvard Business School to get the knowledge she needed to launch her own business, but this is a misrepresentation at best. In fact, Tyra took a course called the Owner President Management Program that just about anyone can take as long as they're willing to pay the $127,000 fee for the two-year program. It's not a part of Harvard Business School, and it's not a degree-earning program. Yet Tyra continues to call herself a Harvard-accredited businesswoman. Number 9. She wore the $3 million diamond dream bra Every year since 1996, Victoria's Secret has included a multi-million dollar fantasy bra in their collection, which is modeled at the yearly fashion show. Tyra was the chosen model to walk down the runway wearing the special lingerie in the finale of the 1997 Victoria's Secret fashion show. Hers was the $3 million diamond dream bra, with nearly 100 diamonds included in the trim, in addition to the 93 other gemstones and a 42 carat diamond featured in the center. Number 10. She bought a $7 million LA mansion in 2018. In 2018, Tyra bought a modern mansion in the Los Angeles Pacific Palisades neighborhood for $7 million. The five-bedroom, five-bathroom home features smart home technology and a gym, a media room, an outdoor kitchen, an infinity pool, a fire pit, a hot tub, a full bar, and a wine cellar, in addition to views of the ocean and the city. She also owns a $17 million penthouse apartment in New York City. We talk more about these luxury apartments in our video of the top 10 most expensive penthouses. Click in the top right corner to check it out. Number 11. She was made the host of America's Got Talent after spending just 5 minutes with Simon Cowell. When Nick Cannon stepped away from his hosting gig on America's Got Talent after the 2016 season, Simon Cowell seriously considered getting rid of the hosting role altogether, but then he got a call telling him that Tyra Banks was interested. He invited her over to his home the very next day, and within five minutes, he offered her the job. Despite facing a lawsuit in 2017 that accused her of humiliating and verbally abusing the child of a contestant, she was invited back to host the 2018 season. Number 12. She has her own Mary Kay-type beauty line called Tyra Beauty. Tyra formed her own cosmetics brand called Tyra Beauty back in 2014. Just like Mary Kay, it utilizes a multi-level marketing system to recruit salespeople who are referred to as beauty tainers. The company has been criticized by some for targeting young women who are more naive about how multi-level marketing works, but it follows a similar model as many well-known companies, including Avon, The Pampered Chef, LuLaRoe, and Scentsy. Number 13. She was named the highest paid woman in primetime in back-to-back -back years. 
In 2008, she was named the highest paid woman in prime time with earnings of $22 million. The following year, she earned the title again with $30 million in earnings. In 2010, she slipped back into second place, behind Ellen DeGeneres with $25 million in yearly earnings. At that time, she was running both America's Next Top Model and The Tyra Banks Show, and she was one of the top paid entertainers in the world. Number 14. She tried to launch a music career for six years. Tyra said she was discovered as a model at a young age, and she was good at it, but singing was always her real passion. She tried unsuccessfully for six years between 1998 and 2004 to launch a music career, even working with mega successful producer Pharrell Williams, but it never got off the ground. She only released one single called Shake Your Body in 2004, but it was a flop. She eventually just gave up that dream altogether and focused on other segments of her career. Number 15. She's one of the highest earning models of all time. Tyra helped revolutionize the modeling industry as a pioneer of the supermodel segment and as a groundbreaking black model that achieved many firsts in the industry. She's also been able to evolve her career over the years, which has resulted in her being among the highest earning models in the history of the industry. Her $90 million net worth actually places her fourth on the list, with the only supermodels earning more than her in their careers thus far being Cindy Crawford with $100 million, Giselle Bundchen with $360 million, and Kathy Ireland with $500 million. There you have it, Alexers. Some interesting, lesser-known facts about Tyra Banks. Now that you've learned some more about Tyra, we'd like to know, do you think her next top model show is more helpful or more exploitative of girls wanting to become models? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Of course you are. Here's that bonus fact just for you. Number 16. Her accountants once told her to spend some damn money. In the earlier years of her career, Tyra was all about saving money, never spending it. It got to the point where her accountants told her that she wasn't spending anything, only giving her money away to the government. Their advice was for her to spend some damn money. So she decided to set aside a certain amount to spend each year in an F account. The F stood for frivolous, and it was the account that she bought her first private jet with in the early 2000s. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.